So recently, one of the free indicators we released on TradingView has been going absolutely viral on the internet. It seems like every day there's a new video with this indicator in it, and there's a lot of people debating on how it's actually meant to be used. So in this video, as the creator of the Nadaraya Watson envelope, I'm going to explain how it's actually meant to be used and clear up all of the misconceptions around repainting indicators. The Nadaraya Watson envelope is an indicator that displays bands and signals on your chart. And no, this is not like the Bollinger Bands at all. We have the code posted open source, so if you know how to read it, you know it's completely made from the ground up, just like all of the indicators we make at Lux Algo. By going to TradingView, searching up Lux, and then clicking on the Nadaraya Watson envelope, you'll be able to add it to your chart. So from first glance, this looks like the holy grail of trading indicators. These signals look like they have an almost 100% win rate and you can easily win all of your trades. Well, not so fast. This indicator is one of the very few indicators we release that repaint. And there's even a disclaimer in the top right corner of your chart now that shows that it does repaint. Now, many people immediately assume that because an indicator repaints, it's deemed completely useless, a total scam, and that you can never use this in any way for trading. However, this is just a common misconception. So this indicator can actually be used in real time in three different ways that I'm going to cover right now. The first way would just be to use the bands as potential areas for price to find support and resistance. Maybe these could be take profits or stop loss points during your entries using other indicators. The second way is by following the direction of the bands up or down as a bias for the overall trend on any given time frame. Lastly is to use the signals or these green and red triangles given by the indicator. So the key to using these signals is to use them in confluence with other indicators. I would recommend one of our RSI indicators. For this video, since it's about one of our free indicators, we will use the free RSI multi-length. So here is the strategy you could use with the envelope plus an RSI indicator together. You only buy until after the envelope has recently printed at least two green signals and the RSI multi-length has finished a big red spike as a confluence that the market is going to reverse. You could place your stop loss below the recent swing low and exit once price first touches the green part of the envelope. So this is just one basic strategy example to show you guys that just because an indicator repaints doesn't mean it's a scam or has no usability. The signals do appear in real time, but the indicator recalculates itself and uses distribution methods. So over time, some of the signals may be removed. The indicator has been all over YouTube recently, and I've even been seeing people who don't understand how it could be used claim that all of Lux Alga's indicators repaint just because this one has that functionality. We have over 50 plus completely free custom indicators with open source code. You can find all tagged with Lux in the TradingView indicators tab and only about five or six of these repaint. Any of the free ones that do, the functionality is explained transparently in the indicator description under the usability section. So make sure to read that for any indicator you suspect repaints. Our Lux Algo premium indicators, the best of our best work created over the years, fully based on our 100,000 plus member Discord group's feedback, have zero repainting. No signal, overlay, SR method, or oscillator there repaints at all, and we're constantly pushing updates to make them the best they can be over time. So hopefully this makes everything clear for you on the Nadaraya Watson envelope and the indicators we're building here at Lux Algo. Check out all the links in the description and we'll see you guys in the next video.